Hi friends, my name is Rachel, and I'm glad to join you today. Let's start with a simple exercise on opposites. The opposite of up is down. The opposite of cold is hot. The opposite of murder is not murder. But wait, let's see what Jesus says in Matthew 15 as we continue in the Sermon on the Mount. In verse 17, Jesus says, Don't think that I came to abolish the law or prophets. I did not come to abolish, but to fulfill. Jesus didn't come to throw out the law or to relax it. He came to live it out perfectly and to take it deeper all the way to the core of our hearts. In verse 21, Jesus continues, You have heard that it was said to our ancestors, Do not murder, and whoever murders will be subject to judgment. This command, do not murder, was given in Exodus 20, verse 13, as part of the Ten Commandments. And we could think that as long as we don't physically murder someone, we are following the command. This is what many of the religious leaders of the time taught. Jesus continues, But I tell you, everyone who is angry with his brother or sisters will be subject to judgment. Whoever insults his brother or sister will be subject to the court. Whoever says, you fool, will be subject to hellfire. Well now, that gets to our hearts. Jesus teaches his followers, including you and me, that inward sin is harmful, just like the outward expression of it. The progression might start like this. You made me really mad and I am angry. I let that anger simmer and I feed it and I start to question your character with an insult. Eventually, I start to question your worth as a person. Anger degrades into contempt and I no longer see you as a fellow image bearer. In essence, this is a murder of the heart. So let's ask again, what is the opposite of murder as Jesus explains here? It's not just not murder, rather it's being life protectors in our hearts, in our words, in our actions. We can't do this on our own though. It starts with us being forgiven and reconciled to Jesus. Then we center our lives on Jesus and we begin to recognize and remember that all humans are image bearers of God. We choose prayer and forgiveness rather than harboring anger. We use our mouths to give life and encouragement rather than to destroy other image bearers. As those who have been reconciled to God, we initiate reconciliation to one another. So friends, how can you give life today? Hey, thank you for engaging with this episode of Anchored. Are you part of Bethel Church and interested in being a host for this podcast? We know that God speaks to each one of us. We want to faithfully grow the people who contribute and share their insights through this podcast. If you are interested in learning more about this opportunity, please email video at Bethel.ch.